so my name is Linus Carl, uh, pronouns he, him, and I am a Swedish actor and theatre maker um, who moved over to the UK in 2013, yes, it's been a while now, um, and I set up my theatre company, Opal Productions, and this is the second show that I'm, I'm doing with it, and the first one that I've written myself as well, How to Live a Jellical Life, Life Lessons from the 2019 Hitchman Movie called Cats, which is a very silly, silly, fun, well, hopefully fun, yeah. <laughs> queer comedy um, about, I mean, about, I guess, my obsession with the film Cats, um, which I really, really love. But I think that it's also worth saying that the show works, whether you have seen Cats or not, or whether you like it or not as well, I yeah, hope. Yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm very aware that it's not it's not a film that, that was met with uh, rave reviews. <laughs> yes. Obviously, what kind of, I know obviously the film inspired the show, but kind of, where did that kind of journey start? So I started, I finished the last show I was doing, I finished a tour at the end of 2019, and then I didn't really know what to do next, and I had some ideas, but I didn't really, nothing, I would. I guess I wasn't really feeling passionate about anything, but then I went to see the, the cinematic masterpiece that is Cats, and it just blew my mind and I couldn't stop thinking about it and I went back to the cinema again and it just wouldn't leave my brain and I just had to I guess, put my thoughts on the paper uh, and I started working on it yeah. and I was lucky enough to have like I did a short um, like a scratch night I did like a short version of it and it just made me realise it had wings and this was pretty much very um, soon before lockdown and then I could just create it throughout lockdown and obviously that was quite a miserable time for everyone and I just all the things that I was missing I just wanted to put it into the show so I wanted to make it really fun and silly and stupid but also like have the audience play quite an integral part in it and uh, and just wanted to create something that was escapism I guess um, and fun because I think I feel like everyday life was so miserable then so I just wanted to, to do something that was just silly fun yeah obviously as you say, you don't necessarily have to have seen the film to enjoy your show, but what can audiences expect from the, your show? Um, a fun evening. <laughs> I think something people have said quite a lot recently actually, have been that they're like, that it's very unique, <laughs> yeah. which I think is a great thing. Um, I don't think there's been a show quite like it, um, which is fun, and it's just an hour of silly, stupid humour, um, a lot of pop culture references, and uh, yeah, I think as long as you're aware of cats as a phenomenon, you'll be fine, and you don't actually have to have to have any like specific knowledge or details about it. Um, and it's yeah, I think just a surprising, fun. I, mean, I just keep saying the word fun over and over. I feel uh, evening. Where you learn, where you get to see a PowerPoint presentation in a way you've never seen it before. <laughs> yeah. And how would you, in one sentence, describe the film Cats? Oh, the film. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, a once in a lifetime experience. I feel like the film is an experience uh, more than a film, almost, and. Um, Whatever you think about it, you will never experience anything like it. <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's so unique. And obviously there's been many flops before, but nothing quite like this. Yeah, not on that scale, I suppose. What, how, many times, no, exactly. how many times would you approximate you've actually watched the film now? Oh, from beginning to end... Uh, Maybe 15, which isn't actually that much. Maybe, maybe 15, 20 from beginning to end. But I, then I've seen it, especially doing the show as well, like I've jumped and I've watched specific scenes at specific moments many, many times as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. It does just make me so happy that. Yeah, and obviously other than, I know you've said you've not seen the, the stage show yet, but is there any other kind of research you have to do into that world for the show? I've... I mean, I, um, I've watched the filmed version the film of the stage is. show many times as well. Yeah. Um, and I've 
seen many clips from various versions and stuff. Uh, it's funny because research and, I mean, I guess it, it became research. It just started out as an interest. And I just watched all of these cats things. I read all of these cats things. And then obviously that became very useful when I, when I was creating the show. Yeah. Um, it's funny when like the research was just basically what I enjoyed doing at the time anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm, re- I'm quite well aware of, of the stage show and everything about that as well, even if the, the show is focused on the film. Yeah, yeah. And if you were a cat, what do you think you'd be called? Oh, um, <laughs> that's a good one, actually. <laughs> I mean, I like. I mean, Mistopheles is my favourite cat. Yeah. So I feel maybe I should make like something similar, like maybe I don't know, Linopheles. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. That's, that's good. I did your um because it's on oh. your. I think it's on your Twitter. You've you've done a thing up in this um, a name generator. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what mine was, but it wasn't wasn't as exciting as I hoped it was going to be. Oh yeah, no, it's funny because some of them are. I mean, it's just it's such a range of things you can get from it. Yeah, um, yeah. and I've seen kind of, I've seen the promoters and stuff. I've seen they are dressed as a cat. Is that is that kind of what you wear for the show, or is that kind of just for the promo? Yes, um, both. I guess no, I do <laughs> wear it for the show. Yeah, so I've got the cat suit and um, yeah, like the headpiece and stuff um, to to look as jellyful as I can. Glorious. One of the first, the most memories I have, because I saw the show when I was kind of like 15, and um, it was when they kind yeah. of, they crawled into the audience, and it was terrifying this is when I was younger. So if, yeah. you, if you're going to do that, just, just warn me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I don't think I'd do that. I mean, with COVID and stuff, there's only yeah. so much audience crawling you can have in a show now. <laughs> that's true, that's um, true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it is such a weird, weird show. I, I do, I mean, I, I can't wait to actually experience it live um, yeah. at some point. But it's just, it's so strange. And the fact that it became a family show is so so strange as well. It's like, just because they are cats to get away with. Yeah. Like, yeah, all, all the stuff they do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and obviously you're bringing the show next week to the Leicester Comedy Festival. How excited for that are you? I'm very excited. So I've never done the comedy festival before, um, yeah. so I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it to see what that's like. Uh, and I mean, I love comedy, and cool. I think it could be a really good home for it. Yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. Leicester people come out and see it. I have some. Uh, yeah, yeah. Some quick fire questions, I call them. You don't have to answer them quick fire if, if you don't want to. But what was the first piece of theatre or comedy that you remember seeing? Oof. I remember seeing Peter Pan. I, I'm pretty sure it's not the first one I saw. Not that we didn't go to theatre often, but I do remember Peter Pan, and I thought that was pretty cool. I, I remember thinking it was really cool because some people multi rolled as well, and I was like, wow, there can be different people in the same show. That was mm-hmm. such like a big wow moment. <laughs> yeah. What would be, this doesn't have to be kind of career-wise, this can be anything, what would be one thing on your bucket list? Um, oh God, this, <laughs> I mean, yes. I'm really not very quick at that. No, that's that all right, that's all right. Um, probably... Well, what I would like to win, and... Uh, one of the like performing awards like one of the bigger performing awards that would definitely be one of them yeah fingers crossed fingers crossed if yeah. you <laughs> if you could have dinner with any three guests that are alive who would you invite any three any three any three i would i mean okay Ooh, um i would choose I feel, feel like I need to choose at least one from Cats. And I'd probably choose Ian McKellen, actually, because mm-hmm. I think I would love to hear everything about Cats and everything about his career. Um, and then I'd choose... Um, oh, 
want it depends on whether you want to have a nice dinner or whether you have to <laughs> want to have like a really interesting, interesting yeah, dinner true true um because no i'm just gonna go for nice i'm gonna choose why not ian mckellen and judy dench and finally um oh god Uh, why not? Um, let's do Michelle Obama. Why not? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's, you could have got Android Webber, to be fair. As far as you're not going. I know, but I don't think he's that good company, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope he's not watching. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what would be the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Um, maybe don't wait for permission I think it's very is very good because I think for a long time I was really waiting to be cast in things and to do things but I think it's when I actually started creating things myself that things actually happened and I felt more creatively satisfied so that would definitely be one of them Brilliant and my final question for you today simply is why should audiences come and see your show? Um, because I think that we need to laugh right now and need to have fun and there's so life is so miserable in so many ways still and it has been over the last two years and this show is someone described it as being the opposite of 2020 yeah. <laughs> and i quite like that i like it is just a fun silly night uh, and people have come up to me after and said like i haven't laughed this much in in months and months and i think that's what we need right now so that's why you should come and see it brilliant that Wraps it up perfectly. Thank you for your time today. I'm greatly looking forward to seeing it on Wednesday.